guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i am going to be showing you how to set up a discount code on your shopify store so this is actually going to be an easy and quick tutorial as i'll be showing you a step by step on how to do this so discount code can pretty much help your customers who are actually considering purchasing from your store to actually go for it and stop thinking about it and it is also a really great way to attract new customers so let's go ahead and set up this discount code to drive more traffic and sales on your Shopify store and before we dive in if you still haven't signed up yet with Shopify I will leave the best coverage deal uh, for getting started linked it down below in my description so from here this page might actually look a little bit different because Shopify likes to run these different one dollar per month promotion so depending on when you're watching this video the promotion might be different but as of today you can get three days free trial and then you can pay one dollar on your first month okay so now i am inside my shopify dashboard let's go ahead and click here on the discounts so this is where we are going to start setting up our discounts this is my brand new shopify but if you have created discounts before they will all be displayed over here since this is my first time there is no discounts here so let's go ahead and click here create a discount now over here there are four different types of discount that you can select on uh, how you want to create this discount one of the discount you can create is based on the amount of product so this discount is specifically for specific products or collections of products another discount is buy x and get y so this is like when people are buying one item and get the second one for free or you can say buy two get two for free or maybe even buy one get the second one at a discount price so this is why buy x and get y means also another discount is based on the amount of order which is the sum of the money or a percentage of of the entire order and the last one is the free shipping on the order your customer placed on your website so when they buy things they'll end up getting a free shipping and instead of paying a shipping price they'll be getting a free shipping so i am going to show you how to create a discount based on the amount of products so let's click here on this discount and this is how the page is actually looking like and we are going to set up our first discounts together so on the discount code this is what people are actually going to use when checking out and applying that discount code that you actually assign it on the on your website and there is also an automatic discount so pretty much this will be an automatic discount like people when they put items on their cart they'll get an automatic discount so on this case i am going to create a discount code so let's say you want your customer to get maybe 20 percent off or to save 20 dollars so in this case i'm gonna say save 20 okay so this will be the code that when customers are checking out they can put on the discount code save 20 and they can save a certain percentage or maybe they will save twenty dollar okay um so let's say you don't have any creative discount code you can just go ahead so let's take this out and click this one generate a random code and shopify will generate a random code over here i personally i don't like it because it's like all over the places so i'm just gonna make a discount that is a very unique and easy for your customer to put it on um on their website okay now so your customer will enter this card at checkout to save their or uh, to save to, to save a few bucks now going on the discount value over here you're going to pick what kind of discount do you want so this is basically means how much we're actually reducing from the regular price so it can be either in percentage or in a fixed amount so in this case i am going to Put it in percentage and that is i'm gonna put 20 percent off they can use this card save 20 and they'll save 20 percent on their order and on this box that says applies to you can pick if you want this to if you want this discount to apply to specific collection or to specific products so let's say specific collection then you can go here on the search button and browse all the collection that you have in your store and then you can go ahead and select them 
or if you want it to be on specific product um, you can go ahead and browse and you can also select those product that you want in my case I want this to be on on collection So I'm just gonna click browse and I am going to select the collection that I want this discount to be Applied to on my website in my case pretty much all the collections So then I'm just gonna click here save and this is how this discount code can actually be applied okay and as you keep uh customizing this section you'll be able to see your summary here uh and so far we set up a code and then th these are the detail like this is of course it's for our online store and we're going to offer 20 percent of uh percentage on the on the product the next one is the minimum purchase requirement so this means if you want your customer to spend x amount of money in um in order Order to get a discount card or maybe you want them to buy a certain amount of item before getting the discount so you'll find three different options which no minimum requirements minimum purchase amounts or minimum quantity of item so the no minimum requirements is pretty much explaining by itself that they can put any amount of uh, items they want to they want to buy on your website and there will be no any minimum requirements also when on this if you select this section that say minimum purchase requirements that means you want your customer to spend a certain amount of money for them to get a discount maybe you want them to spend maybe like forty dollars so for them to get a twenty percent off or maybe you want them to spend $79 or like $70 for in order for them to qualify for the 20% discount code. So this is what it means when it comes to minimum purchase amount. And then on the minimum quantity of uh, items, you can select here. How many items do you want your customer to have on their shopping cart in order for them to get a 20% off discount? So you can select the amount of quantity you want them to have. Maybe you want them to have four or you want them to have three or even you want them to have 10 so you can select that um, the quantity that you want for them to qualify for this discount but for me I am going to select no minimum requirement since this is going to be a welcome card and I want new customers to come and shop at my store so when there is a discount sometimes that is a good catch to get people to purchase things on your um on your store which is a really good thing next let's go on the eligibility okay so this means who's um this certain discount code apply for so is it for all customers or specific customer segments or specific customers so if you click so you, if you want these to be eligible for all customers, you can go ahead and select all customers. Or if you want this to be only for specific customer segment, you can select this section and you can browse and pick what kind of uh, what kind of segment you actually want these to qualify to. So there are five different types of customer. So there is customer who haven't purchased anything from your store, which I think is great in my case. So I want to give this discount code to customer who have never been to my store and I want to get new customers as well and the second option is customer who have purchased more than once so this is also great um, it's a great way to encourage those customers who have um, brought from your store to come back because we really like these customers to come back because without them we wouldn't really have much of a business so they are good customers they bought things from our store so we want them to come back for more and then another group of customer is abandoned checkout in the last 30 days so this is for anyone who have been to your store and add things to their cart and forgot about them for whatever reason maybe they got busy or distracted but they were really close to purchasing and so if you give them extra push to it it might turn into a sell so it might be a good idea to give them a discount and another group it's for email subscribers because giving your lawyer and happy customers a discount can always be a great idea for your business and lastly customer who have purchased at least once so you may want to give them a discount as well so you can select it so in my case i am going to select customer who haven't purchased uh, because i want to give them a discount code in my store and of course i want to get a new customer so i'm just gonna go ahead and click here add okay and you'll see here it has been added over here next we have here the maximum discount user so this means how many times you want your customers to be able to use your discount code so now if you don't set any 
anything here it will automatically be applied as no maximum uses so just be aware of that um because if you are not putting a limit to it you might lose money and yeah and you don't want to lose money in your business so be aware of that so if you want to limit the number of time this discount can be used in total you can go ahead and select this box here and you can put maybe you want this discount code to be used two times or maybe four times or maybe one time you can go ahead and do that or if you want to limit to one use per, per, per customer you can go ahead and select this box as well or if you want you can go ahead and select both of them but for me i'm just gonna go ahead and select this second option which is in which in my case because i want them to use it one time as a welcome card and then the next thing is the combination so if you have more than one discount card at the same time and you want your customer to be able to use more than one discount um you might want to check in one of these boxes okay so so this new discount you created the save 20 can be combined with either maybe if you are, you have like a product discounts going on on your store or order discounts or shipping discounts you can go ahead and select um one of them but of course you have to be careful as you can see here i selected all of them and shopify will give you a warning that some combination of some discount combination can result in a large discount and this will not be great for your business you're gonna lose money as i said before so be careful on how you select your combination of discounts and in my case i'm not going to select any other discount at the moment so i am not going to check any of these boxes okay now the last part is active dates so over here you're going to select the start date and the, you can also set up the end date of using this discount so you can click here on the start date you can pick a date where you want this discount to start so let's say in my case i want this discount to start today so i'm gonna click that and then you can select what time you want this discount to be active you can select a time from there and let's say you want this discount to continue uh you want it to just be there you can just leave it like that and you don't have to set up a, an end date but if you're running a temp but if this discount is just temporary you can go ahead and click this box too to set the end date and then go to the calendar and you can select when you want this uh discount to end and you can also pick the time of when this discount to end and that's how you can do it and that's pretty much it how you can set up your discount on shopify store so after setting up and put all the required information you want your discounts to look like over here on this box you will see the summary of everything you did here and if you have different sales channel in your store maybe you have you are selling on tiktok on facebook uh pinterest you can click here to allow discount uh, to allow this discount to be featured on different sales channel but if you don't have different sales channel you, you only have shopify website as of now you can just unselect that box and once you're done adding everything go ahead and click here save and now shopify is going to tell us we have successfully created our discount code and let's say you want to promote your discount code you can just go over here and click get a shareable link so you can click that and this will be the shareable link that you can share and you can share this disc this link um, on your social media and also this discount will be applied at checkout when customer use this link as well so i'm just gonna click close let's go back and of course if we refresh here we're gonna see our first discount that is available in our shopify store okay and it's we you're gonna see here this is the title and this uh the status of the the status of the discount and if you if you click this arrow down you'll see the sales channel and what kind of method it is which is the code what type of this discount is it's based on amount of product and you can also see the number of time this has been used over here 
and of course this is where you can see all your discount you can also see all the active discounts um and also you can see the scheduled discount and you can also see the expired discount here but for now we only have one discount and which is active and that is pretty much that is how you can set up your discount code inside your shopify store i hope you like this video if you do please give me a like and subscribe on my channel if you haven't done so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next video